Hey guys, Zach and Alicia here, your Brent Brown Toyota CW30 Street Team. We are at the 1% Fitness Kitchen. Yes, and we are about to embark on a six week transformation and they're going to get us all the meals that we need to do it. But yesterday we started the journey at Dexa Body. We're at Dexa Body and we're embarking on a fitness challenge with 1% Fitness. We came here first to see how skinny and cute we already are. Mm -hmm. And Brandon, the president and co-founder, is going to give us a little walkthrough about what uh, body scan entails. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Uh, the DEXA scan is the most accurate way to measure your body. As a result, it uses x-ray imaging. It'll scan your entire body. It takes about six minutes. By the time we're done, we're going to know your muscle, your fat, how much you actually weigh right now, how much your bones weigh. That's kind of cool to see. So how exactly does the scan work? Yeah, it uses x-ray technology, so it's a complete x-ray test, very, very low-dose x-ray radiation, so, you know, we're not going to turn you blue or into the Incredible Hulk when you're done, but... Uh, well, I wouldn't uh, mind yeah, being the like, Incredible Hulk on, when I'm the done. Hulk. That's the most fun. <laughs> so, fitness journey, you would think this is a great way to start. Tell us why. Yeah, we always tell everyone you can't change what you don't measure, so you need a measurement or a starting point, okay? So today we'll get a starting point for you, and then we'll be able to track your progress and track your changes. The thing I want you guys to understand and your audience to understand is the scale is a big fat liar. It, good, good, because yeah. I you hate that scale. You quit lying to us, scale. <laughs> scale away, it's garbage. So the problem with the scale is as you work really hard, you could put on muscle mass and then drop fat, but your scale numbers may not be changing. So it could get very frustrating and we're like, to heck with it, I'm gonna quit this journey, it's too hard. We had a lady in the other day that lost seven pounds of fat put on seven pounds of muscle, and her scale changed by 0.4 ounces. But she probably looked way better. She looked great. Yeah. She lost That's 5 percent body <laughs> fat. That's why you say the scale doesn't matter. It's how your clothes fit, it's how you're feeling, and how the numbers show at the end of the day. Tell us a little bit more about the other things that you have here at Dexa Body. Yeah, great. So we do a couple other tests. One of our big things that we're doing is we're doing corporate wellness, working with companies to help get their employees as healthy as possible. We have a mobile testing lab that will go right out to the company and help analyze the workforce. So that's a big thing that we're very, very busy doing. We also do a fitness analysis test called the VO2 max analysis test. What we're doing is we're trying to identify your target heart rate zones. And so we'll be able to tell you if you're doing heart rate training, where your fat burning zone is, where your endurance zone is, where your high cardio zone and cardio zone begins, and then track how your fitness is improving over time. All right, Brandon, so that was pretty painless. The results are in. So Whoa. first, let's talk about Zach, because I'm not quite ready to hear mine. <laughs> Perfect. So Zach, as we mentioned, we get this comprehensive report on your body. What we look at here is the red is a good thing, not a bad thing. The red represents your muscle system. So you have a ton of muscle system. That's red. right. A lot of red. <laughs> we lot all of knew that. Mass, so that's good. He's, he's pretty tough. The, the yellow stuff is the bad stuff, the fat. So, you know, we all need some fat. That's called essential fat. That's the healthy fat. That's what we need that our organs need and our body needs to survive. So your body fat percentage is at 16.2% today which is a great starting point for any transformation. Um, what we see is guys need about 5% essential fat. So that means I have to stop with the <laughs> wine and cheese, huh? No, we say everything in moderation. Okay, all right, good. So good, you, good. you could still enjoy it. We just got to enjoy less of it. <laughs> okay. We divide your body into every subsection. So we know where your arms are, your legs are, your trunk, which is your torso area. That's where guys tend to hold a little more fat. Our abdomen area called the android region. And then the booty area is called the gynoid region. So we break it down into every region of your body and we can see how everything is. How from, is my gynoid? Your gynoid looks great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. it does. You heard it here first, people. <laughs> proof, proof yeah. scientific proof. Yeah. Scientific. And then what's cool is as we test you again at the end, we'll track all your changes. So we have all the trend data here. So that's where it gets real and real exciting. Yes. Okay, let's talk about Alicia. Because yeah, she just I'm got home nervous. from Disney World, yeah. and she had the biggest blast without me or Brandon. And so let's go ahead. I think and I was eating about 5,000 <laughs> calories per day. All right, Brandon, so here, I'll this. hold the mic for you again. Perfect. So, yeah, Alicia's a, a rock star as well. Ladies need to have more fat than guys do. Good. You, you have babies. We don't. As a result, you need more essential fat. Your essential fat number is 10 to 13%, whereas us guys are five. One thing I do want to emphasize with uh, everyone again is the calorie scenario. So this number, Alicia, you're burning 1,547 calories doing nothing. 
So as you know, if you don't ever eat this number, you're not giving your body enough calories. Okay. So that's the minimum you would ever eat. What we try to do is be in what they call a calorie deficit where you consume less than you burn. Mm -hmm. And so we'll work on that with 1% fitness to dial in your eating component. And that's really 90% of the battle is what mm -hmm. we put in our body. Yeah. We could work out in the gym all day long, I but do, if, we're, bro. If, if we're going to McDonald's after, there goes your gains. <laughs> well, and I think something I really want to emphasize is I don't want this to be like a body shaming yeah. sort Absolutely of thing. Not. This is definitely, uh, you know, about getting healthier, feeling better. Um, I, you know, when you eat too much, you overeat, you just don't feel good. Well, and, uh, when Alicia and I um, got in touch with 1% Fitness, we were both kind of on this where we, we wanted something more. And, and when we talked to them, and we'll, you know, you'll see more from them, that it was more about a change. Like, you need to go and see exactly where you're at so mm -hmm. that you're able to know where you're going. Like you said, you, you got a great solid foundation. Your body's a, a great scenario. We just got to continue to work on it and continue to shape it and get as healthy as you guys want to be, and we're yeah. going to assist you with that. Well, I'm awesome. ready for it. Well, I'm this super is, excited. Well, this is the beginning, but you guys will be seeing him again at the end, and hopefully Alicia and I obviously – well, not hopefully. We will have improved, right. mm -hmm. and you guys will be charting the – We'll have scientific proof. Yeah, we're excited. Let's do High this. High five. Thanks, right, Brandon. Cool. Thanks, Thank guys. you. So although my body fat was a little higher than I kind of had hoped it would be, I think it was really good motivation to get started. I saw that scan. I saw a little more fat hanging out than I wanted, and I immediately went home and went, went for a run. Yeah, so. and for me, I thought I was a little bit lower, so it was good motivation as well. I mean, I work out consistently, always have, and eat mostly healthy, but... Uh, obviously, my cheats are way superseding the good meals, and I think like any, you know, anytime you're starting something new, it's great to know where you're starting, and that's what they kind of pushed over there at Dexa Body was you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been sort of exactly. situation. So it was really cool to get a, a solid foundation. Now let's bring in Rob, and he can kind of explain the meal portion of this transformation. Yes, so Rob, sir. what goes into designing a meal? Our concept is you take it and it's a, it's a balanced meal. So tell us kind of how did you get started with 1% Fitness? Where did the idea come from? Um, so originally I was a personal trainer and one of the biggest things that people defeated them is they weren't able to, they didn't have the time nor the education to put together a meal plan. And it was accidental. Um, one of my clients came in and I saw me eating one of my meals. I did it to save money and to save time and it eventually turned into 1% Fitness, what we do right now. Awesome. So you said, I know education is a big part of it, and 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 um, knowledge, I guess, to what your what your body needs. How do you decide? As I mean, you're going to look at the DEXA body scan and say, Zach, you need this. Walk us through that process a little bit. So what I do is I take the DEXA body scan. That gives me your basal metabolic rate, and that's essentially what it takes for you to exist as a human being. And then you take um, what you typically burn throughout the day and then what you burn through training. That gives me an idea of what to feed you overall throughout the whole day. Beyond the obvious conveniences of, you know, you don't have to cook your own food, you don't have to go grocery Which shopping. Which is huge. Who likes to go to the grocery store? Yeah. Or wash dishes. Yeah, exactly. Tell us kind of how it works. If, if I get a meal plan, do I come here to pick it up? You know, if I live in St. George, what do I do? How does that work? So we have pickup hubs or locations throughout the valley from St. George all the way up to Roy, over to Park City. What you do is you'll place an order at the beginning of the week. We fulfill it within two days. Walk out with a smile and you don't have to worry about doing anything except finding a microwave and your fridge. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to take what we learned from Dexa Body and he's going to translate that for us and tell us what we need to be eating for yeah. the next six weeks. Rob, I feel like we're going to have a love-hate relationship because I'm super excited for the meal prep, but I also know how disciplined it's going to be for me. Talk to me about the diet you're putting me on. So yours is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to get macro specification throughout the full day, right? So instead of your caloric range, we're not going to measure it for the full day, we're going to measure it throughout six different meals. Tell me what kind of foods I'm going to be eating based on this, but go easy on me because my body fat's a little higher than I was hoping it would be. So we're going to have high proteins, um, medium carbohydrates, medium fats, just a variety of different sources of proteins um, is what we'll be putting on the menu for you. And I have lots of different kinds of options for food because I don't want to get like sick of eating the same. Yes. 
So you're going to get 11 different items on a weekly basis. You'll probably eat the same thing once to twice in a week. Okay. And those are typically fan favorites. That's nice because like I try and meal prep now, but I'll end up having to basically, because it's too expensive to buy a lot of different kinds of foods, so I'll end up eating the same thing all week long. Talk to me about my body scan. Your body scan, we had you at 16.2% body fat and your resting metabolic rate of 1,912 um, calories, right? What we're going to be looking at is creating a caloric deficit of that 1,900, not by starvation, but through energy consumption. So we don't want to starve you because your body will start to pretend like it's hibernating and start storing you as fat. Okay. So we're going to make sure that we, so the, the difference between what we do and how we're going to do this between that in a crash course diet, mm -hmm. where you're just burning a bunch of calories, running, and dropping weight, is we want to make this a sustain sustainable lifestyle. So do you think that's a mistake people make often as they try to make that deficit too much? All the time. So they, they starve themselves, and your body naturally wants to feel comfortable or find homeostasis, so it will start storing as fat. So the meals that I'm on, it's, and I, I've heard many people have this argument, cutting in and building, is it possible? What, what do you think? Absolutely. And through the, through the meal plan that I'm going to get on, how will I be able to do that? So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna go for lean muscle mass gains, right? And one of the most difficult things to do is increase lean muscle mass without increasing fat content. Okay. Um, but it is achievable, and that's through um, carb cycling, carb loading, carb loading, many different avenues that we'll take. And, and I say this from experience because you know you can read studies and be like, okay, these people's ideas or concepts are good, but until you've actually applied it to your students or your people, um, you really can't make that claim. And so in the last three years, I've been able to apply it to multiple different athletes and from experience, see what I can achieve personally. Rob, I really, I, cutting out carbs, Zach, is not nice. So, lucky for you, you don't have to live with me. I'm really nervous about it. Tell me, I know like, Zach's body fat is significantly lower than mine. Obviously, he's in better shape, but he's also a man. So, where should a typical female be? I say where, you're, where you feel comfortable and where you feel naturally good is where we want you to be. Okay. A good goal to shoot for is below 20. Okay. See, I think that's a great point. It's something that we had talked about when we were at DEXA is we don't want this to be like a body shaming thing in any way. I don't want to feel bad about myself for being 33% body fat. Right. I just want to feel better, you know, in all around when I'm, you know, doing daily things. I want to feel, you know, overall better. So I think that's really important to focus on is staying positive about your body, but just doing things that just, you know, overall feel better. Right. And this is also something that you can maintain and be happy, right? Because a lot of people go on these diets, they don't get to eat the things they enjoy, they focus specifically on the weight loss, and it becomes an obsession. Yeah. And then they lose it when they don't achieve it, or they achieve it for small periods of time yes. to rebound and go back to where they were before and then be depressed. Yeah. So, this, like I was saying, this is a lifestyle modification, and we want it to be sustainable through life and a happy life. Yes. Well, that's what I'm really excited about. I think I'm pretty good about exercising, but I do the up and the down with the food. I eat healthy for three days, and then I have a horrible three days. And so I'm really excited that really, like, you're taking all the guesswork out for me, and I can just come pick up my meals and be ready to go. All right, Alicia, I don't know about you, but I'm super excited. Tons of amazing information, and I'm really excited to see the transformation of the journey. Yeah, and I think the best thing that you can do is go get a scan and just kind of, you know, get your starting point. And if you're interested, come here, and they can really help you figure out what is the best option for you. Like, he's doing that super fit option, and I've got super a lot fit, more elite, food elite, options. Yeah. So he'll be chic, and I'll be happy. <laughs> So yeah, you guys will watch who's going to be the happy friend and who's going to be the hangry friend uh -huh. out of the two of us. But we'll also do a big reveal of abs at the end. Yeah, exactly. See. In the meantime, make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram so you can see this whole transformation whole journey un unravel. In the meantime, we've got some food we got to some eat. food. Rob, so, thanks, buddy. Thank you, Rob. We're out of here. Let's 50 Fitness.